Welcome to ABC 123 Trader. All forms of trading carry a high level of risk, so you should only speculate with money you can afford to lose. You can lose more than your initial deposit and stake. Please ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize yourself with the risks involved and if necessary, seek independent advice. U.S. Government Required Disclaimer, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, Trading financial instruments of any kind, including options, futures, and securities, have large potential rewards but also large potential risk. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in options, futures, and stock markets. Don't trade money you cannot afford to lose. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, 15 minutes after the open of September 22nd. Jeez, I have to look at the dates here. So we finished the FOMC yesterday. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking a look at everything from a top-down approach. We'll look at the news. And we'll go from there. So I'll turn on the news right now and see where we are. So basically, S&P opens flat following Wednesday's post-Fed route. Anything else interesting here? It's just really quickly, we just want to look at the numbers and see what they're saying. Just on the mental aspect. I always look at mental aspects on the news to see what, what's, what's happening there. So Turkey interest rates again as the country struggles under 80% inflation. That's insane. Uh, the Fed forecast hiking rates as high as 4.6. So there's still a little bit more fear factor in there. I'm still waiting for this bounce back. There has to be a bounce back coming in. Maybe it's today. We don't know yet. Um, until we get through everything in the charts, we can start taking a look at it. And the VIX is slowly creeping up more and more every day. So Dow half, half, 0.7 and negative 1.12 and that's all I really want to know well, there maybe uh, it's not it uh, it's not 10 o'clock yet so I'll wait so what we're gonna what we're gonna do is I should try and change that sound but I'll do that later I want to get to why is that chart not showing there it is do 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 right across so it looks like we're getting really close. We actually broke that order block, which was quite surprising. So do we have any more order blocks? It doesn't look like it. Uh, what I have to do, let's increase the dates on here. So we've got 365 days. Let's go to 720, see if there's another order block around. So we broke all the order blocks for a year back, if we have any more. So there could be a reset of an order block down there. That's from two years ago. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. So, I believe we destroyed all those order blocks. So our next target technically could be around 11,200. So, that is a bad run. From, when was it from? Okay, so where were we? August, September, January, June, May. This is two years back, so I just want to take a look here where we started. From two years ago, guys, look at that. Head and shoulder pattern almost. <laughs> it's just insane. So we basically lost. Let's take a look here. Uh... From the top till now. Yeah, we lost 5,300 points ever since uh, the Christmas New Year's. So, yeah, it's a big drawdown. I'm just curious here, calculation here. I'm just, cal I'm just, I want to see what the, what the percentages are and we'll keep on going here. So, the high was, let's see what the high was here. I'll move this across here. So, the high was 16875 so we are currently at where it's floating 11597 divided by 16 what did i say 875 i think it was 875 16875 ah my mouse yeah it was 875 so 16875 8 
0.75. So we've got so far from the high, well, well over 30% drawdown already. 30.32 Fibonacci retracements. Let's take a look here for fun. And then we'll get a little bit more of the technicals here. How far did it go down? Oh, not that one. Sorry, I want to do a Fibonacci retracement. No, well, it's a hundred percent pull down actually, if we really think about it from the from two years ago. So, so we're really deep. Wow, crazy. Anyways, so the it's still going down. We have a new marker here, a couple of uh, mini markers, and we might be able to do that because we don't know we're entering new territories here. First time in the long time so basically they hit looks like they hit this order block so let's see if they will mark it so we blast it through there there's another there were a couple mini order blocks so let's move this one to here broke that one this is the next order block so or we have one here and one here i'll take this one i'll take the deep one right here if i can just start vibrating my mouse Let's move this up a little bit more so we can actually really expand it. Move it up more. Really expand it so I can get a better better marker on it. So the order block technically was somewhere right around there. So 11,460. 5,463. So 450, 460. Okay, we know. We already broke this one and we broke this one. There's one right here too. That would be at 11,500, looks like. So you know what, I'm gonna put it on there because that is a psychological number. Yeah, really close to 11,500. Looks like they were trying to, uh, yeah, my mouse, I need a new mouse. I have one upstairs, but yeah, she's just fighting. There we go, yeah, 11.5. Okay, 11.5, 11, 11, So I'm gonna make a, since we blasted through all those zones, and we're done that, uh, I'll leave that one for now. And then what we're gonna do is, I'll create a region, so we know. If it keeps on going down, guys. That's that's it, if and only if, IFF, -F, I guess. Okay, so, as you can see, we're still pushing down. We had that bounce. It looked like there was that bounce back from here. So I'll take a look at the charts after the FOMC, see how far it went. And then, it, because it looked like it finished green, so 7 to 593. So 7 to 6, 100 point difference from, I guess, from the open to the close. So 100 points down. See if you can get to the 5, and we'll go from there. Now, where are we right now? We are, ooh. If this works well, we're going to find out now. See where it's vibrating right now? This is called the day trend buy, okay? We might be able to get a buy opportunity here. Now let's go to the left to trade the right. So that we might not, we might be almost at the bottom. The only thing we have to do, a little bit of education here. What I do, this little zone, this little zone. This is a really deep retracement for a good runner, okay guys? if it works. So we're gonna find out right away. We're negative 0.64, we did have 1.1 on positive overnight looks like. I'm gonna reload this one just in case. I wanna know for sure. Yeah, 1.1, negative one. We might be building up for a good takeoff here. And then well, of course we have our top region here, so let's do that again. We'll make another uh, we got one marker there, so, and then that's the one region. Whoops, too much. Ah, oh, that's good enough. So, uh, 127, 141, 161 extension from this zone. So we're gonna watch this. If it does pop down at 10.02, I think we got a runner here. How much time? We got 10 minutes here. I'm getting actually excited. This might be a really amazing trade. I might let this run for a while. Okay, gonna move that across. Now we're going to let this run down. We are technically, since this morning, see nine o'clock, didn't look at this chart until I turned on the screen. So we're already a good runner down. If it kill, still keeps on moving, we'll still watch. Look at the Delta, the Delta's flat guys. And we are on a long energy runner here. Oh, let me see. I forgot one thing to take a look at. Yeah, 1002. So at 1002, we're going to start taking a look to see if there's going to be a bounce reversal. I usually use the see it through 
and we know we got a target here so I'm gonna make a little mini region here for target because that is a stop out I want to make sure that I know and what I'm also going to do as well I want to turn off some lines because I got way too many lines sometimes fit predictor I'm gonna turn off the midline color I don't want the 50% marker for now Turn tracker, uh, trap, stop out, POC order blocks. Good enough. There we go. So that this was buy one, buy two, buy three, possible turnaround there. And uh, we got some high numbers here, so some high delta numbers. You can see one right at the stop out. And we're going to see if it will still keep on flowing down. Well, just give them some time. And then what I'm going to do, where's my other chart here? That's good enough. Okay, now I'm gonna watch and see. Because what, what I have now is just a very clean chart because you got your noisy pinpointing entry charts and this is your cleaner chart was basically two indicators and two indicators as I'm using, three, sorry, three indicators. I'm using the quarters to see where it's vibrating on a quarter. I'm using out of chop so we could see where you could enter to make a few points, pull back and now you can see she's tightening up, she's vibrating a lot. So we're going to start getting some black zones here and then and then of course trend tracker so we got everything set up i just want to just a little bit cleaner just not much on, on the board there because it's really it's easier to read and i'll turn that off yeah turn that off now i got two screens here Oh, so close. Let's see what happens at 10.02. We need that uh, the money shakeout, and then maybe I can take a long. What I would love to see... Oh. Actually, I put four indicators. The buy, sell, activator. And uh, buy, sell, activator never saves on the template night, and I have to go through it. Something about a, some type error that I wrote in the code. There we go. Good enough. Yeah, it looks like she's bottoming out. We're at negative 21. So what I did is on the buy sell activator, I love one thing I love about the buy sell activator. So you see double top here, energy up, energy up, and then a big sell off. See now it's at 21, and I'm watching this curl. And once it starts curling, we might be able to get a good pullback. And when it gets close to the zero line, it could be finished. So you really have to watch that. So or she's blast right through okay we're good to go so we got uh, we'll wait for cash to finish and and I'm gonna also find out I'm gonna put a line in there so you know I'm just putting an order flow there we go look at that right on the stop out that marker, what I just did, is uh, just a volume point of control in the past 30 minutes. See how she's going to go for the for the for the big uh, last finish. If I see a blue bar, let's see here. Let me open this up here. If I see a really high volume bar and it makes a pin, I think I'll jump in. Okay. Even though it's not in the auto chop, but it's right at the trend. There's the pin coming. Okay, now let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it high volume? That's the question. It is higher volume. It's not the yellow or the blue. I always look for yellow or blue. Actually, I'm going to show it to you so I can see. So it's, it's, it's still a... These are the colors I like. Blues or yellows. Red for sure, because that's extreme volume. Block out. There was no alarm. We're getting back to volume point of control. Actually, this was a volume point of control down here for the last 30 minutes. We're one minute before top of the hour. If I get a beak, I might go for it. The only thing is we do have a block right here. That's, oh, that is the block right here. So, so that's okay. That's a 60 point move. Give them the last minute here. Let's see. Oh. Uh, 
Is there one that says allow on top? I think it's in this one. Always on top. There we go. There we go. Now I can put this chart here for now. I'm watching this. I'm watching this. I'm watching Delta. Seeing if it's squeezing. Let them vibrate. It's uh, 10 o'clock. We said 10.02. So let's see if it gets down to, where's that zone? See, we have a sweet spot zone I chose. That's the bottom of the range of the of the day trend buy range we're currently in chop so yeah you can see we're black here so let's go like this we're currently in chop they say 1005 I have mixed sig signals here 1002 here saying well it's, it's not really a, it's kind of a mixed signal basically what it is is this is where I think the bottom might hit but still we might still have another selling opportunity until how much time do we have on this Ooh, till 9, uh, 11 15 of course but 11 15 is one of my favorite times so I might still have to wait don't have a blue bar yet we know this is our volume point of control so I'm really watching this if this thing starts taking off I'm going for it so Okay, we got another blue box. We don't we haven't had a all of box yet, so we're gonna wait. So what I'm watching for, watching for okay, we're oh, still 20 points a minute. God, I'd love to see it at 10 points. 10 points is so easy to work with. Okay, so 20 points a minute. We're still pushing down. We have a lot of volume here, four bars in a row of high volume guys, see? beige 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 and what that is is um, let's see what what I can't remember what beige is uh, what color code was that beige is let's see what the percentages are on there just a little higher than normal so we want yellow yellow or blue right here it's not by it's not by our volume wise there so beige is whatever a little bit higher than normal but yell if you get yellow or blue that's the way to go <coughs> yeah we're still pushing 20.59 eh? what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be uh, just modifying this indicator sometimes when I'm reading some information because I know I have a lot of information is this number and this number I don't see a lot of the time so I might box it or circle it just for my for my reference because I hear the beep I hear the alarm and I'm not paying attention because like you said there's a lot of information on the screen so basically this what I'm looking for to see if the map goes this time I'm looking to see if it's going to follow the time and I might have to be patient. I know what my energy is. I'm watching the Delta. See, there's a lot of buying coming in, but it's not moving. We're against the trend tracker. We are in chop now. That auto chop the black zone. So I'm going to move this back a little bit. So we know we're still trending down. See, we got a trend down. Triggerfish is saying selling opportunity still we had a couple of snapbacks and then trend tracker it hit here so we know we're still trending and uh, yeah I really want my OBS back so I can flip screens guys It'd be so much easier but it just takes too much CPU energy if anybody knows how to use a different um, live trading software or something that doesn't take too much cpu energy because when i was finding out with obs was when i when i went on task manager i look at the how much memory usage or cpu usage it was like just obs itself was taking like 60 70 percent so with all all these charts with the data flowing in was just jumbling it up and obs was overriding it 
and I think you could put priority to Ninja Trader or whatever, but it was just it just wasn't working properly, and that's why. I haven't really been doing live for a long time because with volatility and high volume going through, it's just been screwing up the system. I'm using right now uh, Camtasia for recording and it's the CPU usage is really nothing for recording. So I don't understand w what the difference is. So, it, so that's what's happening at this point in time. Okay, so we're at 10.05. So this is the, this is the time signal change. And it is going to be going any high color. We haven't had high color yet. See, it was squeezing, squeezing. We're in the right zone, guys. And we, this is above volume point of control. I just don't like it right now. We, uh, if it, let it come back down for one second. Okay, so we did have a 465 buy-in. Let it pull down for a bit. I want to see if this is just a fake out to knock off some mini uh, stops here. What was this high price here? Did we break the... We didn't break the 600 level yet. We're still in chop. Let's go for it. Should I go for it? No, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a buy stop there. On 11. Order submitted. Just on 11 if I am wrong. It's so close. We're in chop right now, guys. So, But there is a high volume bar. So let's open this up. I'm going to put it right there for now. And I might work it way down. We got from 09 to 26, so I might have to do cash out on the first one, let it pull down for the second one. I'm going to be watching Delta. This thing is turning around. Uh, this time scanner is failing. We got 2250. Order filled. So we're already in it, so I got no choice now. And then what I'm going to do is from 09 to 26 is. Then I'm going to go sell target right here. Order submitted. 2250 so I'm gonna to go to 2250 2225 right there early entry getting a lot of Delta pushing up right now she's holding though that's the only thing I don't like we do have an olive bar here so I might be okay let them fire it Yeah, 2250. 2250 is on the trend chart on this one. 26 is on this one. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reload this for a second. I want to see if this trend tracker changes. See, this one says 30 now. So I'm going to reload this one. Twenty-seven fifty. So I'm gonna go to sure twenty-six for now. Come on, break it through, guys. Can I go to actually? You know what? I might. I'm gonna get ballsy here. I'm gonna go to forty. That's where the previous market open price is. Unless if I see a really wick here, then I'll close her down. But I think we can get the 46 here. Yeah, because we got a, a point here, a point here. We'll let them fight for a while. It looks like it's all correct so far. Uh, 46, what's the low on this one though? Low is 53? Yeah, good enough.
indecision. Pull down, fire again. Uh, okay, we're on the bottom of that level. Come on, guys, keep on going. Let's fight through all that volume. Getting into the olive box. We're right at the day track or the trend tracker, so I'm really quite happy on this move. Even though this 10 is pulling down, it was a negative hit. It did hit this volume point of control, but uh, they're going to push it up here, guys. They'll get up to here, to 45 at least. Good, we got our first marker right here too. So I should have waited a little bit longer. That's okay. We got our first real marker. This is the marker I was looking for. So it came in early. We're still in chop. That's okay. Delta's trying to push it back for one more time. We're right at volume point of control. Final opportunity. That's right, she's going to turn around here. What a crazy move, guys. So close for breaking here. Uh, what's our volume bars here? Yeah, she's fighting through. This is where this is the sweet spot zone if we can get up to here. Fifty, sixty, seven, eighty. Man, if we can get to seven hundred, even. There we go. So close. We just got to fight this last zone here, guys. And so while that's fighting back. So close. Do we have a high volume bar yet? No, no high volume bar yet. We're at 20, 21, 22. This is the area where I'd be a little bit skeptical. So let's see if it gets right to the... Board, 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 board. I'll close that for now because this is mark um, trend tracker. We got really close to the trend tracker there, around 24 to 30. So our 295. And if she pops again. And so what I'm looking at... There we go. See the trend tracker hitting here? This is the area of interest I like. Uh, I want to see, it's just getting into the yellow zone. I need it to turn. We're still in chop though. So it could blast through. If it blasts through, then we're stuck in this zone. But I'd rather be conservative than take uh, the $300 in the account for now. Because it was really whippy there. Let them see if they hit the bottom. Because, see, we have higher volume here. This is All this is higher volume, just by a little bit. Nothing crazy, okay? And now you can see the chop. Look at this. All chop. And this is where we get killed all the time, right? That's why I took an aggressive... Uh, the buy was right in here, and it did pull down. And I said, what the heck? And it should have... Because it's early bar entry, right? And then now they're retesting, and maybe they can go up. But now we got a... Uh, 
Darn it, that dot hit here though. So that means we might have to wait for one more dot again. 34 minutes in. No. Oh, there you go. There's our cell phase. So we're right in that crutz again. No, I can't wait for this. I gotta get to get to the city today. Son of a gun. So close. It's, I bet you it's gonna be a good day. Anyways, if you have any questions, you know how I did the trade. The trade was uh, I was using uh, day trend today. Hopefully for the pullback. Watch 1005. I was watching it fail. And took the smallest trade for $300 just to the trend tracker, waiting for the next round to go up. Other than that, just make sure you pinpoint your trades, Tracy. If you guys have a good day, take care.